Good morning students. We will continue with the 12th standard economics, chapter 7, international economics. Here, international economics can be evolved a simple theory. Uh, economics, uh, classical economics, Adam Smith, David Ricardo, F. E. Tashin, Harbler, J. S. Mill, all these have shaped the international economics as a subject matter. So according to that, uh, international economics, mostly the study of international transaction between the countries. The transaction edala irkuno abdina goods, service, capital flow, technology, exchange rate, balance of payment. If any issue is there, means that should be solved. A tariff tax, protection, free trade between the countries, investment flow. So, all this, any monetary policy we have to follow everything with the individual country, with the other individual country. That is what the international trade about. Those, so, basically the international uh, economics has been defined or the meaning is given. The exchange of goods and services between the two countries. That is called as a international economics. Or in the other words, we can say that uh, International economic specialist field, if one country is specialist, one country means it can transfer or it can export to other. That means both the countries are interdependent among each other. That is what the international economics. So here the subject matter of economics has been classified into four categories. First one is the a pure theory of trade. Pure theory of a trade in the sense a foreign trade, a direction of volume of trade that means uh, how much we can export to the rules we have to follow, determination, rules, any problem or they, we have to solve it or exchange of a goods and services between the country, balance of trade, balance of payment that means our country's one rupee value should be equal to other countries. How much the value of other countries? That is a balance of payment. That should be transferred. That and all should be evaluated. If the end of the country or the rupees, how much it will be increases or decreases, other evaluate. Everything together, international economics involves about. Next, policy issues. If that means a free trade or protection method. Free trade means if a friendly country means uh, in the border no need to pay the tax. Taxation policy, subsidy, anything is there. Dumping, that means you want to capture that country's market. Or exchange control is there. Foreign aid, anything you have to be between two countries is there. External borrowing you are giving or your uh, investment is going and doing in other country or other country is doing with your country that is what about policy issues you have to follow the rules and regulation of other countries we should not uh, uh, go beyond that one so that everything what are the trade policy technology policies taxation policy we have to obey abide the rules and regulation next uh, international capitals trade blocks that is in the sense without a competition. Cattle is in the sense without a competition do the business with the other country. You custom union, monetary unions with the help of them do the uh, trade. That is MNC country, corporation companies are launched in the country means without a competition of other. They have to do the business. So these all can be done with the help of one country to other country if any uh, um, fight or any misunderstanding anything. Some middleman should be there to uh, solve the problem. So that middleman only will do the solve the problem. So that for that uh, international institution regular in, in regulated that means uh, follow the rules and regular both the countries. No? They, that is what the IMF. International Monetary Fund, 
and WT World Trade Organization they are there so if anything disputes any problem is there means we can give the complaint with them we can solve the problem they will uh, peacefully without a quarrel without a misunderstanding they will solve the problem so with the rules of the these institution we can do the problem we can do the international trade next we'll go for the meaning of a trade this can be of two types, internal trade, international trade. Internal tra trade in means, as usual, no, within the country, within the domestic trade or home trade, intra-regional trade, we can say that. That is the internal trade. International trade means between the countries, goods and services exchanging between the two or more countries that is called as the international trade. So, the difference between international trade, here you can see here, it, it will come for the 5 marks question day book back club. First day internal trade means same country within the country. In the international trade means between the different countries. Second point uh, labor capital freely can be moved within the country now. International trade now we cannot move from one country to another can, country labor cannot be moved. We can move but the restriction is, will be there. Third point will be the free flow of goods and services. country within the country, goods and services can transport facility will be given. But international trade now we have to pay the tariff or quotes or that means a tax should be paid. Restriction will be more. And the fourth point is there one common currency will be there to exchange our country rupees. India means rupees. If other country means we have to Indian rupees with the dollar, we have the exchange rate will be there. Fifth point is a, a geographical area. Countries will be less similar. All will be known geographical area. But international trade, different geographical area. Conditions will be more, restriction will be more. And the fifth, sixth point is then financial regulation or a less regulation exchange rate of a financial rupees of the price regulation will be less in the internal trade but in the international trade the regulation will be more different and also it will be different from one country to another or a country lo or a madri irkad wherever a country ke wherever a different regulation rules will be there next the seventh point no difference in the political customs habit will be same in within the country now but the international trade now each country have their own habit customs will be there so according to that rules and policy government also policies of the government also will be different so these any five point if you can write in the five marks it be enough so this will be in the book back question next uh, we'll go for the theories of international trade the first we'll go for the classical theory of international trade this was developed by adam smith with the, uh, and after that, uh, David Ricardo, who formulated this uh, classical theory of international trade. And he gave a name, comparative cost advantages. And later it was redefined, refined or improved by the J.S. Mill, Carniers, Tossing and Harbour or uh, discussed. Then first... Again, they came the Adam Smith theory of absolute cost. They discussed and they remodified this one. So, according to that, here first uh, mercantilism, according to your mercantilism, you can see the other countries gain is the, our country's loss. Why they are telling is there means if you are selling the goods to other country means if I sell panana if I am selling means for me gain. Because they are not producing the goods in their country, instead of that one they are buying. Upon the country ka the loss. And the second point, a free flow of goods benefit all the trading partners economy. That means from one country to another country, the goods will be moved means and that will be benefited for the both the countries. Next the third point is that the uh, factor proportion hacklers online whole lane 1919 that will, will be briefly study in the uh, next topic next we will go for the adam smith theory of absolute cost theory 
according to him if you transfer the goods and service freely both the country will have the equal benefit so according to that the theory explains every in the theory means first one the trade between two countries will be mutually benefited mutually na both the country ko id benefit da that mean producing a commodity costs advantage over the other countries turn the produce another commodity that means what they are telling if i am specialized in one commodity i can sell it to other country then the other countries who are specialized in other material means from that country you buy it so it will be easy for you both the country will be benefited that's what the theory wanted to explain so far this they are given the assumptions first one there are two countries should be there model two country will be the assumption second point labor only production to produce the any commodity they wanted to give example no labor only will be used technology illa third one the labor unit homogeneous that means the same should be there labor four na four irukum that's why labor units are homogeneous same it should be there fourth point cost or price of a commodity measure the amount of labor the price and the amount of labor abdina uh, four labor can produce one unit of a wheat abdina labor wise la measure pandradha irukum next there is no transport cost transport cost la idla vand in the assumption la should not be taken into consideration so we will continue the illustration so here the absolute advantage can be using the, this you can see the diagram here table column wheat 20 india china is 8 cloth 6 india and the china is 14 see here the diagram here you can see the diagram india has a absolute wheat over the china see here you can see the diagram here india is a specialist in a wheat na it can sell it to the china it can give, have a Oh, advantage absolute ad advantage production of a cloth to over the china that means it can india can sell it to the china wheat india should be specialist in that one whatever the product we is doing that should be specially wheat means import to uh, uh, export to the china then china can import uh, from the china you can import abdina namba edha specialist irukonomo and the product and china ke export pannunga if you are ex, a, a specialist in wheat na export it china if it's export uh, specialist in cloth na we can get it from there so ni goduma velavikkaradile specialist na export export ni ninga you can sell it and buy the cloth from china appo both the specialist country abdina you will be have a benefit mutual benefit will be for the both the countries that's what this adam smith theory says if you are doing specialist na your quality will be there so you can do the advantage of a specialist you can take it that's what they wanted to tell you okay. next we will go for the ricardo theory of a comparative cost of advantage so the, this ricardo as a british economics principle of political economy in that he has given this published in the year 1817 17 la called a comparative cost theory after that this theory was redefined by gs mill marshall toshing all are redefined this one so according to ricardo trade can be taking place with absolute cost of difference but a comparative cost of difference so actually to say this one the ricardo country can gain a trade between the produce a relatively lower cost that means if you are specialist in producing the product in the product ni produce pandradhula specialist a irukre appo your product the expense will be less for you because you know the what are the nook and corners of the, to produce that product appo you will reduce the cost of production unnodi expense vandu less that means a less lower cost you will produce a. then you sell it for a more money so that is a benefit for you only you know that's what you want to tell the country can gain the trade when it produce a relatively lower cost lower cost the product that your specialist and selling na you will gain you will have a benefit so if that country can enjoy the absolute advantage of a goods 
because he has no the specialist so you can export to the other country and you have a more advantages similarly if you are not specialist in that producing the product with the less cost means you cannot have a specialist in that one you have a uh, less advantage will be there for you you are telling so far that theory assumption is there first one there are two con countries as usual labor only the element using this one labor only will be measured next labor is a perfect team available with that means labor can be moved from country within the country not between the country okay so within the country labor can be moved it in, in mobile means you cannot move over country to another country it should labor should not go and the fifth point is the production sub law of consent should be there next sixth point a uh, free from all barriers all the restriction more restriction should not be there without restriction it should be there trade between two country abdina friendly country with tax should not be there when transferring the goods from one country na and the la la border line le tax katti da ulle ponnan abdina irukuda next no change in te technology la same technology transport charge should not be there perfect competition should be there full employment irukano no government inter government should not fix the price for the product so according to this uh, they given a, a hypothetical uh, a diagram table using that one cloth the wheat gold marriage in india and america so here you can see the diagram here in the table column america 100 cloth 120 wheat india 90 cloth 80 wheat so to produce a one unit of wheat na they have that is equal to the 1.2 cloth india ku and one unit of a wheat if you want to produce na they can that should be equal with the 0.88 cloth so here a, a diagram given here 90 80 india ka adhe mari america 120 100 so sir according to this diagram according to this diagram they are given see so india could concentrate on production of wheat wheat life they want to concentrate and enjoy the compare specialist if you are doing means you can sell it to other country with the advantages and the similarly america if they wanted to have a specialist in the, whatever they are producing a cloth mean they can export to india for a wheat so according to that diagram india can get one unit of a cloth and one unit of a wheat by using 160 labors ipo in the one unit of cloth unit wheat produce panni export panni matha country ku landu vaangana na 160 labors da they will use but within the will have a, within the country only produce pannana 170 labors irukku appa 10 layers labors vand charge labam thana so that will gain no that's why they take the similarly america also if they want to get one unit of a cloth one unit of a wheat by using 200 units labor irukku using that only they got the exchange of a wheat cloth they got it. but within the country only they want to produce everything na they have to use 220 labors unit of labors extra 20 labors there that charge will be benefited now that's why both the country will be benefited we are telling so for this criticism so here the small proportion of a total hence the theory based on the labor cost is really under labor cost which in the theory and based on that is under that is not a possible at all they are telling and one more thing one country to another country labor or efficiency will differ the quality efficiency will be differ so we cannot measure with that the labor we are telling next we will go for the modern theory of a international trade so this trade was developed by the swedish economics eli hackler and the student berlin hollin in the year 1919 i said that before we will we will learn a brief you know that is the theory this model was based on the ricard and theory international trade ricard order and based on so this theory is also called as a a factor endowment theory 
also one word like make so this al already i told this is developed by the hackler and holwin uh, so according to your according to this theory similar short you can say me if a country is a skilled in labor means specialist means it can export the a uh, goods and services produced by country and abandon unskilled labor abdina if you are have a more capital now you will export more capital goods if if your country is specialist abandoned abdi abandoned nareya abdina skill labor now you will export the goods with the labor goods so whichever is abandoned in your country according to that you will do and you will import abdina nee vaangiradhu and the scare factor unga country la edhu shortage a irukku and the factor da you will buy it that is import from other country import na buy export na you sell it so according to this theory means classical theory argue so here here the here the trade was compared between the labor factor but actually in modern theory explain the first point is the point is that the difference in environment factor between the countries so whatever the factor you are produce, producing the shortage of resource that will be the difference between the two countries not within the countries and second point is that factor of production requires a production that means using that product proportion how much resource according to that how much you are producing other than factor proportion required in proportion or product to produce panirathukku how much resources you are using that is was a proportion we are telling so for this assumption first assumption there are two countries two factor second one point is countries differ in a factor environment so according to two country capital or or a labor factor third one is a commodity are categorized in term of a factor intensity that means whichever is a uh, demand in situation according to that we will decide next country use the same production technology should not be the change it same should be technology should be same countries are identical means same demand between the country should be there next uh, perfect competition in the both production and the product and the factor may market in the both the countries the product capital goods ko labor goods ko market la same should be the perfect competition should be there in the both the countries so according to this theory here uh, according to hackler's hall in theory a capital abandoned country abdi abandoned na nareya capital irukra country la that country will export a capital intensive goods if you have a capital more na you will export a capital ungitta nareya endradha na export panna mudiyum konjam arundha export panna mudiyadha adha dhaan the logically the If you have a capital goods, now you will export capital goods. But the labor abandoned country, now other country will have a labor. Is there means that country will export the labor intensive goods. So according to this, a country can be regarded richly endowed with the capital only. But when the country capital is more, no, that can be country can be considered to be the uh, rich country. when compared to other country so here the table column will be there you can see the table column supply of labor first india 50 america 20 then india la vand labor is more america labor less capital c column 40 abina india la capital is less america capital is more when compared to labor ku capital we have to see the difference there labor less capital more india la labor more capital less you can see the difference so if we divide means india will get 0.8 america will get 1.25 will get so according to the example given america more richly endowment with capital because of the ratio 0.8 is less india ka less but america has a 1.25 so this diagram you can see here diagram as we said the capital abandoned country export the capital intensive goods 
and the labor abandoned country will export the labor um, intensive goods whichever they have a more that they will export to other country so the, this have a limitations first one factor of endowment of a country may change over a time in the fact factor of capital can be uh, more differ or it can be changed in the according to the situation or a demand it it may change it won't be constant or country rich away all time it can also change that's what they mean they wanted to mean it next second point is that uh, efficiency of the labor between the two country may be a differ maybe america labor is less when compared to other but they will have a, a larger efficiency will be there with a less labor they have a more efficient labor will be there so we cannot be compete or compare with the labors here you can see the difference between the classical international theory and the modern international theory first point classical theory explains the labor theory that means based on the labor theory as a whole but the modern theory will be explained on base of a general theory of value first point second point it will be classical theory mainly of a labor factor model modern theory is of a multi both labor and the capital third point is that a difference in the comparative cost difference in the productive efficiency of a worker but here in the modern theory la difference in comparative difference in factor of end factor na in the classical la only labor international modern theory of international two labor labor and the capital both will be there that's what they mean it difference in the factor endowment between the country and the so on so in the international trade so what will be the a gain benefit from all this international idella munjichi ipo international trade nalo what is the use gain first one is that a better utilization of resources that means if you have a more any resources we are means you can sell it with other country and you have a benefit you will be benefited that your utilization of resources better next uh, second point concentration in the production of goods that means you will will be benefited you have a more profit mean you will start at producing your concentration will be in the production goods and also if we are in the specialist means you know how to produce the product without wasting the time so you will save a time next the fourth point is perfect skill of product if you are specialist means you will be expert in that one that's with skill will be perfect skill will be there to produce any product then you can improve the technology techniques you can improve it if i am producing same product again and again for pot sayra the pot le is making na you can after uh, two years next generation they, they modify their techniques technology machines so i same way only if they are specialist mean they can change it next uh, if they special means they know how to increase the production because they won't waste the uh, resources next uh, high standard of living if you are exporting one country to another country means your product will be sold you stand up, your income will be more means standard of a living also will be increases and the next is the equalization of price between the countries between one country to another country if your goods is Uh, transferring means the price will be equalized but reality it won't be there our country is 1 rupee rupees is equal to 75 or 8 rupees of dollar means how it can be easily equalized so it, practically it is not possible that's why they gave in the packet our weight reality it not happened and the insulator second point the difference is only in regard to the cost of transport transport when and the equal are be from one country to other country uh, Uh, if i am buying a uh, wheat na you are giving a uh, cloth na tra- transport facility that uh, charge can you be equal but the price cannot be equal that's what they are first point la bracket they in reality it is not happened and they given 
third point price factor of production the expenses what producing expense on the one country to other country will be different reality equal would not be the to produce a wheat to produce a cloth will be same it will it will be difference that's what the reality it is not happen next uh, point is that equalization of distribution of scarce material that means uh, shortage material whatever it is there you can distribute shortage is there means you can take it from other country if you have more means you sell it to the other country that's why distribution will be equal and the third point is that a general advantages of international trade it means variety of goods will be there if you are you have one country we have a special is one goods na will be in the same but you are doing international trade in other countries goods also will be variety will be there then employment opportunity will be you can because if you started producing more na the employment should be there so using them only you have to produce so you can increase the employment opportunity next list backward countries la you can launch the industries next uh, is that relation between the two country will be strong but uh, in reality it won't be happened and the labor division labor and the specialization division of labor means you are a uh, specialist in making one that means you can give a example of division of labor, shirt manufacturing company abina in that company uh, collar will be stitched by one person button will be stitched by pocket by way. different different so they will start producing fastly so when a tailor stitches in one shop it take, to produce one shirt it takes it three hours or two but in the garments go and see in the cloth manufacturing each will be producing one means only within one hour you can produce that's why the division of labor specialist will be next expansion of transport facility from international level it can be increased so these are all about the gains from international trade so next topic in the next class we'll go for the terms of trade thank you